Are you able to say that I'm not going to allow my, my past to cause fear so I cannot enter into my future? Did y'all understand what I said? I'm not going to allow my past to cause fear for my future. Amen? Amen. Let us look at that first verse. Father, I thank you now for your blessings. Church, I'm believing God for some incredible things. But we can't do it without the word of God. We can't function without the word of God. You're nourishing the flesh. But what are you doing to your spiritual man? What are you doing to your spiritual man? So therefore, when you are dealing with this, this situation, that you're able to turn around and tell the enemy he has no power. And Paul was writing to Tim Timothy and letting him know, I love you. But there was a there was a power of faith that operated through your your grandmother and operate through your mother. And I know that same faith is on the inside of you because when I laid hands on you, I want you to stir up your gift. It's time now to stir up your gift and don't worry about what confusion, what people may have to say. You got to stir the gift up. You got to turn around and wake up on the inside of you. So therefore you have power to subdue and conquer everything that is not like God. First verse, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promises of life, which is in Christ Jesus. To Timothy, my dearly beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace. From God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. And he letting him know that I am concerned of you. Stop allowing people to dictate to stir up what they want to stir up on the inside of you. But there is a gift that's on the inside of you that's waiting to come out. That's waiting to be released. Verse 3. I thank God whom I served from my forefathers with a pure concern, that without ceasing I have remembrance of thee in my prayer day and night. Paul is telling him, I'm not, I'm not ceasing from praying for you. I'm not stopping keeping you before the throne. You and I got to begin to pray for our brothers and sisters on a continual basis. We got to learn to pray for our enemy on a continual basis. You, I know when you are fully grown and matured in Christ, when you could turn around and pray for your enemies. When you could turn around and say, Lord, have mercy on my enemies. Because you got to understand they're dealing with somebody that's dangerous. And because, see, the Bible said that for the least one, if you think of harming the least one of my children, it's best for you to go ahead and harm yourself. So here's Paul is encouraging Timothy to continue to go forth. I greatly de desire to see thee, being mindful of thy tears, that I may be full with I mean I may be filled with joy. I may be filled with the joy. 